Love you, baby. Punisher is such a good show. Fuck Disney. Disney can go to fucking hell! <laughs> they ruin everything they fucking little grubby corporate fucking hands touch! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit. Show that scene. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Push! My arms are too short! <laughs> Clean the shit right out back. of his pants. <laughs> I, gotta go, I'll, I gotta go get serious. I'll be right back. What's all this? You're with me, man. Mm. Time to grow up. What are your pronouns? My pronoun is uh, him, base. Very old. Stoic. Sigma. You have schizophrenic as well. Go ahead. And manic. I mean, the internet's uh, pronouns that they've chosen for me is actually many, many pack of. <laughs> That's a new thing right now, bro. Absolutely not. <laughs> Andrew Eubanks hit that fucking drive. I mean, honestly, what the fuck? Fucking bomb. <laughs> I know of no better life purpose than to perish in attempting the great and impossible. The fact that something seems impossible shouldn't be a reason to not pursue it. That's exactly what makes it worth pursuing. Where would the courage and greatness be if success was certain and there was no risk? The only true failure is shrinking away from life's challenges. Discipline is the root of all good qualities. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. It's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. It's about facing your fears. It takes discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. This shit will stop a fucking bullet. But you, you best believe. These are stopping a fucking bullet. Mm -hmm. If I if I flex at the right as it's about to impact, boom, it'll fucking deflect it. Here we go. It'll <laughs> fucking deflect it, best believe. I'm building a chest for her to lay her head on it, right? Water system in this bitch. Oh, Holy fucking shit. We got that shell for real. No shit's actually stopping that 50 cal. You weren't lying, bro. Well, Mike actually just wants to get shot, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm just waiting till one day somebody actually like shoots it. It gets lodged in that bitch. I can't stop looking at bro. Relax. I'm not flexing. Yeah, no, fuck. What? I swear to God. I want bigger tits than my girlfriend. I want bigger tits than most women. I want them to feel. I just want some tits other than my own. <laughs> Bro, I swear, me and Mikey have elite chest genetics. Like, 
That, like, it's like 75%. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Knowing that that someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. In life, a lot of times, a lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life they think about that person. You make sure they put a name and a face to it. You make sure the name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head. Own space. In those times when you want to quit, because we're all human, you make sure you remember one thing. All those times and hours and days you sacrifice to be the best. Stay hard. Like if in my mind, my goal for my arms was, okay, well, I want them to get to 19 inches. That would be awesome. Then I'm just setting myself up for dissatisfaction. Because once I get there, I'm gonna have to change my goal and say, okay, now I want 20. And every time I get there, I won't even be satisfied, right? What really kind of satisfies me in terms of my training isn't necessarily hitting any specific milestone, be it weight, strength, size, whatever. It's more so just, you know, making progress over time, right? The guy who likes walking is gonna walk further than the guy who likes the destination, you understand? And that's, um, it's easy to say, you know, it's easy to say this motivational shit or whatever. It's harder to put it into practice.